Hello, vinyl community and YouTubers. So it's been about a decade I've been in the VC and I thought it was about time I did another contest. I haven't done one for um, probably about a year and a half or something. So it's going to be actually it's going to be a contest slash um, um, thread. I hope it takes off because a lot of ones I've done haven't really done that well, particularly a lot of Americans. They don't really... Uh, pick up on my uh I don't know what it is anyway I mean yeah anyway tried to go on uh, Rachel's thread once and that um went a bit badly due to the internet mainly anyway so I've been 10 years and as you know from the title I've got it here it's going to be about going down rabbit holes with records so hence I've got a silly hat as well rabbit ha rabbit holes apparently originated in the 17th century um, and became more popular or known down the rabbit hole uh, um, catchphrase or whatever you want to call it from the opening chapter of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in 1865. Um, over the 20th century it's uh, um, been used to characterise bizarre and irrational experiences um, especially magical, challenging and even dangerous places or positions similar to Carol's Topsy Turvy Wonderland. I'll just read what it says about what they're supposed to be now. Or, or I mean, I sort of got the meaning of it totally wrong, to be honest, but uh, it's um, a metaphor for something that transports somebody into a wonderful or troublingly surreal state or situation, or what we're more likely to know it as, it's uh, on the internet, frequent frequently referring to an extreme engrossing and time consuming topic so like being in the vinyl community and watching lots of videos and listening to records so I've got three examples um, I will be doing prize um, I'll probably draw them out a hat you'll have to put the links below to your videos I've got yeah so I've got three examples there'll be a prize and I think Christmas, I will say, is the cut-off date, like the traditional 25th of December. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? Um, well, I wanted to get in before the obligatory um, vinyl tag of 2024. And I thought if I leave it this too long, it will be, it'll be like March and everybody will be doing their tags and, and stuff. So three examples, anyway, of rabbit holes I've been been down myself okay so first one is going to be records that I've bought previously had or sold and then I've got them again and I consider that going down a rabbit hole obviously your rabbit holes are up to you to um, um, uh, interpret so um, yeah where did I put them oh here we go yeah, right, 10 records. Okay, so mostly actually from the 80s that I would have got rid of, which I would now, or during a period of my coolness, which didn't last very long, um, consider them to be, or considered them then to be embarrassing, or, or I just got rid of them, you know, for one reason or another. So probably a prime example of this would be Transvision Vamp, who didn't last very long. They made it to the third album. I suppose mainly I liked it because of her, Wendy James and this is a slight joke actually it was developed into a bit of a joke um, here with a few people Headley, Sean uh, yeah but I seem to be a bit obsessed about her or, or certainly was at one time I suppose next one Deacon Blue I they really sort of they're more a hits band this is their debut album it will probably be considered their most um, uh, creative artistic sort of album I suppose I mean really I like really like Dignity the song about the boat um, and the other hits I saw them once at um, the then Wembley Arena we were a long way at the back and that sort of didn't really do it for me if you're sitting in Wembley Arena it's pretty crud to be honest uh, next one well, I definitely went off this guy here, particularly when he died and all the, all the truth come out, truth came out about him. This isn't my original copy, I don't think, because I'm sure I culled it, although I may be wrong. But, I, 
you pick up Michael Jackson albums again now, um, sometimes. I do think Thriller's very overrated, though. Um, someone else, I kept most of my Madonna albums, but this one, I definitely got rid of it because it was a terrible film. And it's got four of her songs on there. They're not her best, I wouldn't. I would suggest. And the other tracks on there are pretty bad, but I got it again. I can't remember where. It wouldn't have cost me very much anyway. Now, do, those of you in the UK, or actually in America, you probably would know the Britannia Music Club or something similar where you get five copies. Um, no, sorry, you, get, you got recommended one every month and then you had to write to say you didn't want it. And then maybe you had to take five or six over the course of a year. This was the sort of album that I probably would have picked up, got rid of, and then I've picked it up again. Uh, similarly, with George Michael, who I definitely went off, particularly during his hanging around in the toilets uh, phase. Uh, but, I mean, this is a really good album. As is Listen Without Prejudice as well. Uh, an unknown, fairly unknown band here uh, from 1988. They had probably a couple of top 40 hits. I remember getting into this through a mate, uh, Broken Land. This is a DDM uh, reco recording. Uh, this was sealed when I bought it. <laughs> the beret. I really need a beret to add to my hat collection. Uh, all contributions gratefully received. Curiosity Killed the Cats. Another one. Bangles. <coughs> uh, this was our last album. I think I culled it. Probably kept a different light and then found this again. Uh, I've never had their first album though. And Debbie Gibson with, with poster included. There we go. So this is the sort of stuff that I used to like when I was like, you know, 13 or something. Nothing, nothing cool when I was 13 at all. No, sorry. <laughs> there she is. And she looks pretty good these days as well, from what I uh, gather, as does Tiffany. Right, so that's the first rabbit hole. The second rabbit hole is uh, trying to find good Christian music or interesting Christian music is incredibly difficult, I would I would say. Um, it's, it's all supposed to be worship music, yes? Or some sort of mystical reaching up to the uh, heavens his ten of them okay a 12 inch by glowworm um carry me home sort of like dance early 90s listen to it if you've not heard it great track um i've never seen the film have no wish to see it this is uh from the uh, scorsese film soundtrack um Peter Gabriel must have put it together on his uh, this out this label. What's it called? Real World. That's another one. Sorry about the glare. This was I don't know. I definitely got it from somewhere abroad. I can't remember where I was at the time. Uh, now there's a modern worship um, leader called Martin Smith, and he did a band called Delirious. This is uh, a more a rock band that he did uh, called. Uh, army of bones and it's pretty good it's not so much talking about religion directly or christianity or anything but it's it definitely alludes to that and you can check that out there's some videos on youtube of it this is from about four or five years ago i think uh obviously back in her day very controversial sister rosetta farp don't know where she stood theologically one for Jacob, Dallas Open Micah there. She might just have been, you know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, now this is one of those sort of weird albums. I've got a few of these. Uh, children's records with slightly spooky drawings on them. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and, some, and some songs on there and stuff. There we go. Uh, here's another one of Christians trying to be trendy. Uh, so this is the Reverend Houston, the Power and the Preacher. I think, well, he's he's got a dog collar there, so he must be ordained in a church, unless his 
going to be fined for impersonating a vicar if that's still a crime here I don't know but he's got banana armor with him there at the background and this is obviously your 80s album uh, it's not that great I'll be honest with you uh, what you want is just some good old folky people there we go Merv and Merla her voice is a bit high pitched yeah it is uh, let's keep going with this we're 10 minutes already so this is on uh, Trunk the UK label by the hipster Johnny Trunk I've talked about before so this is apparently um, um, God's Chorus recorded by Jim Wilson and it, he put some mic the, the story is that allegedly he put some uh, microphones very close up to crickets and they sort of sound like heavenly choirs or choruses sort of thing um i have no idea whether that's true or not but it's interesting there you go what you want is a van there and to stand on top of it and preach the gospel and what's this one here i think these are sort of like spanish or something or south american a re a repress obviously and <coughs> <coughs> Last from this section is some Americans uh, shouting. Hopefully, no, none of those ones that pick up snakes or anything horrible like that. Uh, this is uh, preaching, praying, shouting, and a singing, and uh, sort of somewhere probably deep southish. I'm not sure, but it's got Stanley Brothers on it and some other tunes on there. So that's the second section of um, a rabbit hole second rabbit hole third rabbit hole is uh this one here and uh obviously if you um i'm going to find some records that you will like for the winner definitely could be one prize could be two could be three depends on the response and i'm going to give away this is a bit of a grail really for whoever wins there's one of each copy i've only done uh three copies I've, i'm keeping one for myself i gave one to a mate so of of my um actual recordings sort of best of sampling uh, tracks that i put on to um a record or rather two seven inch singles so that is one prize and then i'll find some other stuff as well i'm sure so the last one is weird samples that i've just picked up and that's a rabbit hole that i frequently go down um yeah just finding stuff just stuff that probably nobody else wants or well, some of them are more interesting than others i suppose but so this is uh, a horror bbc uh, sound effects number 21 record um i suspect if it's radiophonic workshop they were not actually doing um they weren't torturing each other they're just weird sounds with people with their shoes in cat litter and um i don't know that kind of thing uh <laughs> the amount of train records in the uk is quite phenomenal this is uh, uh, diesel electrics on the eastern region in 1975. That's very specific. Uh, I wouldn't like to be tested on them, but that is a beast, isn't it? This is a Deltic one, I think. I have had my uh, train spotting and model train um, hobby on and off a little bit. Quite into timetables and, uh, you know, maps and things. Uh this is something I used to have. It's a 90s uh, 12 inch on. Uh, is it alternative tentacles? I'm not sure actually. Uh, I can't see that now. Well, it's on that label anyway, I think. Anyway, so it's sort of like just. It's, it's British. It's sort of like just noise, industrial, bit avant garde -y sort of screeching and noises. And it costs there. Uh, Covers wrecked, but it costs 50p. So there you go. Potential sample there. Uh, this is a BBC uh, 12 inch incidental music from their library. These sometimes turn up all the time. It's got some uh, incidental music on it from um, music for the pageant of Cain. Uh, and the other side, it's the same, but obviously different tracks. Uh, it doesn't say where it's recorded it's probably 60s or something i guess but quite nice uh this i sampled on my um on my last few videos ago uh 
um, um, record. This is uh, somebody talking about Catholic things uh, and, and about the mass in Spanish from um, South America, from Mexico, I think, is the, is the guy there. And it's quite spooky. It's got a strange sort of echo on it all the way through. Really weird. It works. <clears throat> uh, music by J. Peter Robinson. I've never seen this film. I think it would, might well freak me out if I did. It's called The Believers. I'm guessing it's a bit sort of like, from what I understand, I've read and I've read a little bit, it's a bit Rosemary's Baby kind of thing, you know. Uh, and it's got Martin Sheen in it. Helen Shaver, Robert... Logia, Richard Masser, Harley Cross, Jimmy Smits. There you go. An 80s horror film no one's ever heard of. Uh, Zig Zig Sputnik. And on the uh, B side, there's an interview, Rock and Roll Year. This is an album uh, about uh, selling carpets with Pete Murray, Wendy Craig, and other people. There we go. I suppose it's sort of about marketing marketing as I call it quite funny uh, someone from my childhood here who I not sure I'd want to meet ever now these days with his uh, trim tone phone there Noel Edmonds and his hilarious phone calls yeah and lastly uh, this is the size and nature of the universe, the theory of relativity, re relativity Dr. Dr. Edward Teller. And with it, um, this is absolutely beautiful um, pictures, general dynamics. And it's sort of about, talks about a bit of nuclear fusion, I think, in here and stuff as well. And uh, yeah, lovely uh Lovely pictures there. So I've gone on for far too long. Um, yeah, if you want to enter, I'll just say again, I'll do one, two, maybe three prizes. Uh, but it's it's a thread as well. You don't have to enter. But I would like some people to enter at least, especially before the final tag uh, kicks in. There's another picture there. So thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, I look forward to see if anybody uh, enters, to be honest with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.